not going to be a favorite of yours after this, so I'll apologize in advance, but I do thank you for the public service you've done. I know this is very difficult, and I, I really do appreciate this. I have asked for public records, asked Mr. Galena. I have kept someone very busy asking for them, but the reason for that is because I've been asking for them for three months. Three months I've asked for these things in emails, in board meetings here. They've been promised to be on our website. They're still up there now. There are three items on our website. They are the initial documentation that was sent out to parents, a copy of a review committee, not review committee, the public meeting we had here in this building, and then Mr. Green's announcement about a review committee. There's no other information on our website, folks, about this plan. But I can guarantee you, all those people right here have asked for it, and it's been promised that it would be there, and it's still not today. There's no transparency in this activity at all. So here's what I have to say after looking through some of these documentations. Peggy, your survey that you sent out to the teachers asking about the challenges and the positives with the K-5 building configuration. The number one question at the top was, what are the negatives? Your positives went to the bottom. Nancy, your email that you sent out at the beginning of the season to all these members, minus Mr. Thomas, where is the transparency here? Why are you omitting people from certain emails on your communication amongst the Board of Education here? Again, I would ask you, why are people being omitted from communication? If you need to see these, I have copies of them here. I have other copies here of emails where a specific board of our, not board, but a person on our administration actually spoke with a parent to come to our February Board of Education meeting and help mold what she was going to say during public speech. That doesn't really have lack of track, you know, I guess I've seen the integrity in it. I have to ask, are you placing people in meetings to say things on your behalf? What is the need for doing that? If, you, if this is such a great program, where is the transparency? Where is the information? Why are we hiding things? And why are you fearing those who come to these meetings or go on Facebook or put websites out there or repository comments? What is the fear involved here in people saying these things? Why is the transparency not there? That's basically my concern tonight. I guess I heard a lot of questions here. I heard a lot of things say, I'm not going to talk about this tonight. I heard previous numbers used are no longer relevant. Yet these are numbers that were presented to our community to buy into this program. Why are they no longer relevant? I'm hearing things, I'm hearing things where we talk about the focus on what the whole um, review committee was. I have to agree with Mr. Thomas. I don't feel like we were ever looking at two plans equally here. I think we were looking at how can we discredit the one we don't want. The focus was always to strive to discredit the key five plan, to discredit the people who wanted to look at an alternative method here. Um, I'm running out of time. I have so much written down here. If you had just spent the time proactively getting data out to people in this community instead of beating down the opposition, you probably wouldn't have so many people here asking for five minutes of your time. You'd probably have more support than what you have today. So I guess my, my thought to you is, after this is all said and done, no matter what you vote on, please take this sincere feedback. Consider how you speak amongst your community about your constituents who voted you into these positions. Think about the things you put into emails. Think about the things you put into documents. Think about the things that you say to your peers that get passed around. Because the vibe out on the street is not a good one. And as it has already been stated, we will be voting again. And so please consider the people who do support you. We want nothing but good for these kids just like you do, and that's why we are so freaking passionate. So just please, please consider the people who support you. We want the good too. We're not here to beat you down. We're asking for the good. So just consider when you are talking about people in public records that can be requested, folks. Think about who's going to be reading these things, because my opinion tonight is a lot of fake persona up here acting like they want to do good, but when you read the paper, the comments on here are downright disgusting. So please, please consider who you're talking about.